It's officially summer at Candid Travels, Texas. Yeah! Welcome to Candid Travels, Texas. Where are we going to go next? Woo! Ah. Welcome to Candid Travels, Texas. Yes, it's summer right now, and uh, I wanted to share. And where are we going to go today? Well, you'll soon find out. But I want to share with the ATX ITAC family and the family at Candid Travels Texas in Candid Travels the sea salt tactic sea salt what do I mean by that SEA salt so what it is is if you don't live by the ocean if you don't happen to live by the ocean and you want to get the benefit of sea salt what you can do is you can do this um, now here in Central Texas it's about two hours away from the ocean, but what you can do is this. You go to your local Costco's. Oh, look who's here. She's so pretty. Oh, she's in the bathroom. And you can get this pure sea salt from Kirkland's or anywhere. Just buy pure. Make sure it's pure because if it's not pure, if it's not pure, then what will happen is you're going to have issues with like silica and stuff in it. So make sure it's pure. And what you can do, what I do is because I take shower, right? I will take this sea salt and I will put, let's say shampoo. I'll put shampoo in my hand, Perel, whatever. And then I will sprinkle sea salt on top of my shampoo, mix it up, then shampoo. And yes, by the way, for us baldies, we do need to shampoo our scalps. I know a lot of people don't know that, right? It's like, hey, I'm shaved. But uh, the scalp does need to be shampooed with good shampoo, you know, make sure there's no chemicals in it. Okay, so another option is let's say if you don't have a um, some kind of a, you know, you're not by the ocean and you want to have salt air and salt whatever. What you can do is you can actually have, uh, maybe by your area, you want that salt air. I mean, I know SeaWorld's really expensive, so, but if you can afford it, that's a good place. Go to a place, an aquarium sometime where there's salt water, and then you'll get the, the uh, breathing in of the salt air. So today, we're going to go to the Austin Aquadome. Now, this place I've been going to for over 30 years. Um, a lot of college students like going to the Austin Aquadome um, like 30 years ago when I was in college. We're not allowed to have pets, you know, in your dormitories or whatever, but what we are allowed to have is fish. And so we, we often, it's not very expensive. You can go and get some fish. And at the University of Texas, you can have fish, right? <laughs> at least back then. I don't know about now. Maybe, I think it's still okay. So I'm going to show you the second floor of the Austin Aquadome is a seawater area where you can buy salt water, salt water, tropical fish. All right. So let's go head out there and yeehaw. Let's see if we make it. Austin Aquadome, right by Blazer Tank. Oh, and for those who are watching and following our pond, our backyard pond, uh, we get our stuff from Austin Aquadome to make our pond all natural and we buy the Texas mosquito fish there. In fact, we have a couple for pets inside. I'm going to show you, all right? Well, these are small, but they're not dogs, but they know Kung Fu. They're called Texas mosquito fish or Western mosquito fish. And the way I have it is I have a special substance that will actually, I pour in here and it oxygenates the water. So, Instead of having to have a pump system, I'm experimenting on these guys. And there is one male. You see the, the, the skinny one without the belly. That's the male. And there's three females. And one of them is getting ready to give birth. <laughs> so anyway, these are called Texas mosquito fish. They're also, I think, Gamburia is the scientific name for it. And they are similar in species to guppies. So they reproduce really quickly. But the cool thing is obviously these are pets, so I feed them tropical fish food and things like that. But in the wild, they eat 
mosquito larvae. They eat harmful insect larvae that harm humans. And so they're really great. Here in Texas, we use them uh, for stagnant waters, and they, they clean the stagnant waters. It's amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. So anyway, these are one, two, three, four. And uh, I've, got, <laughs> I've got Jack Tripper. I've got Chrissy Snow, Janet Wood, and Cindy Snow. So they say Jack was platonic with them all, but I say they, you know, well, you use your decision on Three's Company for those are guys old enough to uh, know who they are. To come and knock on our door. Sunny here. <laughs> we made it. We're here at Austin Aquadome. Yeah, look, here it is. Look, check this out. Okay, check this out, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> We're here, all right. Tropical fish, saltwater pond, Austin Aquadome. And this is like an amazing place for your uh, pond, your backyard pond. They have everything here. It's really well priced. So Gary, Terry, the lady, Hunter, and Melissa are the four mega stars in there. They help us. We're going to go in and get a, another snail for the... Texas mosquito fish experiment we have there. We had another snail with the goldfish, so yeah, it's a fun place to go. Look, a date place too. Look, check out that couple. <laughs> All right, okay. So we're gonna go up on the second floor, right, Allison? Yes. You're gonna go and enjoy the saltwater fish, okay? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go in now. 1604, yeah. Whew. Love this place. Hey, hey, this is awesome. So up these stairs is where the salt water section is. There's, hey Gary. Hey bud, how are you today? <laughs> yeah. Hey Melissa. Hi. Is Hunter and Terry here? Hunter's here. Uh, okay. We're gonna go upstairs and, and take pictures of the salt water creatures. Cool. Okay, here, Allison. We walk up to the salt water section. Like I said, for the sea salt tactic, if you don't live in an area by the ocean, you can always go to a place like this where there's salt water. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. That's a shark. That's a nurse shark. And so there's tons of salt water air coming up here. There's Hunter. Hey, bro. How are you guys? Gary said you could, you're could. you cool with being a, do we have a web series? We're gonna showcase yeah. this place as one of our. Yeah, yeah, good to see it. Um, hey, where was that animal that looked like an alien? I'm gonna ask Hunter what it is. Do you remember where it was? Right here? Yeah, yeah. We were here yesterday, and the seahorses are gone, but the two little baby ones are here. Oh, here's another guy. I remember him. I said howdy to him. <laughs> these seahorses. So um, all the big seahorses are gone too. There are just a couple left. So yesterday there were some big ones. I see it. Oh, there he is. Come out, you. There he is. He's just hiding back there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank we'll you, just, Hunter. Uh, switch him around. There you go. I got a picture right there. <laughs> Cat, that's the right. orange shark. That's the orange shark. Which cat. one's the orange shark? That's the cat shark. Right oh, okay. There. That one's the cat shark. What's this one? That's the horn. Okay, that's a horn shark, not a nurse shark. I, I, I was incorrect. Because if you look that at it. That's not right. If you look at the top of its spine. Okay, it so it's called a horn shark. That's a cat. Cat. Like a, like a C A T cat. Yeah. It's nice. just a relative. That is amazing. Look at that thing right there. So many of these uh, creatures. Amazing, amazing stuff. Like this one. It's beautiful, just like her. <laughs> so pretty, just like Alice. My voice is going. She's a clownfish. Well, anyway, she has a little bit. Uh, her, she's losing her voice because she's a master thespian, and uh, so we're here in the salt. That'll help her master thespian female actor voice. <laughs> this guy. Now I'm gonna look for a long nose blue guy. Is that See blue one called, sir? That blue one with the long nose. You see that blue one? That's right there? Yeah, yeah. That's a bird. Bird, B-I-R-D, right? Yeah. Bird fish. It's a bird. 
Yeah. Look at that's a puffer fish, right? That's a porcupine. Porcupine fish. Is that what porcupine the puffer. Is that what the Japanese people they make sushi out of and you might die if you eat it? That's the other bird. That's the other one, right? That's not him. That's a but puffer fish, right? Or a bird. That's a porcupine. This is called a porcupine. Yeah. But so there's that, another puffer right there. Where? Oh, that's the Udu, right? That's the star. That's the starry puffer. That's the puffer right there. Yeah, that rock bait. Yeah, that's the puffer. Oh, okay. That's what the Japanese they they make the uh, poisonous sushi out of, right? It's like that. I'll it's like it. that kind. Okay. Thank you. So, so the bird fish is intriguing to me. I love the way it looks. See this bird, blue bird oh, fish. He's right here. Oh, he's hiding. See he's still hiding. Yeah, I see him now. He's camera shy. There he is. Look at this. Look at this guy's nose, man. It's just the coolest beak, if you will. That's what they call a bird. Yeah, that's what I call birdfish. Blue bird. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, look at that. It's a Wyoming white pear. This fish costs $180. Okay, so that's actually a skylight inside the dome here, the aqua dome, man. I love coming here, it's, it's, it's free. Look at these guys, the blue guys, look at this. Look at this guy. Look at that thing. That is wild. It's like a dragon right there, this, this one right there. Amazing. Wow. That is just the most amazing thing right there. Look at that. And he's with these guys. There's another one Allison found. Did you like that one? Mm hmm What is that? That's a cool looking one. <laughs> there's a there's a lady. Oh, that one's jumping. That's a rhino. That's a, a rhino? Yeah. That one right there. What's that yellow one that Allison found? That guy right there. That is like an amphibious or something. I don't know which one it is. The yellow one? It looks like an eel to me. Like it looks like an eel, but I don't know. This guy's totally camera shy. It's called a squirrel fish. He went behind the rock. He went behind the rock. Look, he's right there. I see him. There's his red face right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, I gotta I gotta communicate with him. It's okay, I'm not shooting you. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. There, thank you. Thank you for coming out. There he is. Look at that. Wow. Squirrel fish. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. It's okay. And now he's hiding in the tube. Squirrel fish. Uh, a red squirrel fish. Wow. Let me communicate with Wow. He's hiding in there. It's okay. I ain't hurting you. I'm not hurting you. It's okay, you can come out. See? This is a leaf scorpion. Scorpio? Scorpion. Oh, scorpion. Fish. Yeah. Fish. This guy's a lionfish, I yeah. know that. That's the Volton. Yeah. This is the Volton lion. Volton lionfish right there. Yeah. And that's a leaf scorpion fish. There's a black one and there's two. Black there's, one. There's, there's just two more of those. Different color lines. There's lion. another leaf scorpion fish. It's a different color from this black one. Oops. And, and then there's another that's one right blonde. That's a blonde one. Uh, blonde. Look, look. Oh, he came up to say howdy. Came up. You're not camera shy. You came up. You came up for the camera. That red. We're here to get a snail, but until then, we're just going to enjoy. Here's our squirrel fish again. <coughs> Yet once again, he runs away from the camera. He's so afraid of the camera. Look, he's so camera shy. He's so camera shy. <coughs> oh. This red squirrel fish is so afraid of the camera. Look, he just runs from it. He'll hide from it. <coughs> Look, ooh, ooh. Where is the red squirrel fish? Where's red? Here's from the Gulf of Mexico, of course, according to Professor. It is a toad fish from the Gulf of Mexico. Let's see him on the other side. What do you look like here? Well, he does look like a toad. Gotcha, squirrel fish. Oh, you're running away. There you go. He always hides in this tube whenever the camera comes out. That thing. He's floating with this clownfish. 
Look at this guy. He's looking straight in the camera right now. He's not camera shy. It's a black clownfish? This is awesome. Look at that. There's a translucent one. He goes right into the... If I'm filming Allison, this guy is totally staring at us. <coughs> I agree, and he is totally not camera shy. Look at him. He's just looking at us. Look at that. He's just looking at us. Okay, okay, okay. So now, not to discriminate and be pro-fish, we have these animals too. They're living beings that look plant-like. So we are an equal opportunity equal opportunities there you go and these guys they're alive and these guys they're alive okay hey guys I know you guys are like the stars of the show because you're fish here's this one's foot the underside there's some more guys here anyway yeah Thank you, one right here. Get a better view of this bird fish. The professor says it's called the bird fish. The big bird nose. It's a blue bird fish. He's a bit camera shy too, that one. He sees a camera and he flies away. The professor just found the spotted, he spotted the spotted eel. There he is. Or tessellata. Tessellata, tessellata. Yeah. Wow. But here's the, there's, there's the black edge. There's the other one. Right? The black edge. Black edge. Moray. Moray eel, right there. If I zoom in on that. Yeah, those guys, they're not camera shy. That eel right there. Looking at us. Banana eel. It's almost like a dolphin, man, the shape of the tail. Here's the moray eel again. He's coming out for pictures. He's on the red carpet. Look at him. Moray eel, spotted eel. That's a spotted eel. He wants attention. Look, he, he up upstage moray. Allison spotted moray eel right here. These are the ones from the Little Mermaid, right, Allison? Flotsam and Jetsam. You know, um, yeah, yeah. Is that their name? Uh, what is yeah. it? Flotsam. Ursula's, Ursula's two, yeah. two lackeys right yeah. there. Okay. I guess, but it has kind of like a white, a white top. Like. Allison named it Gary. Yeah, kind of like that guy. I think so. Okay. He looks okay. The Nereids are good guys and they're a good And they're pretty algae. hardy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll eat fish poo and algae and stuff like that. Not so much the waste or anything, but they'll eat... Uh, they'll eat the, extra they'll stuff. They'll scavenge. Well, the, the one we got the last time from you, he was eating poo. Okay. It, it's, it's, he's really cleaning the, the fish tank quite well. They're good little cleaners. Yeah, they they're are. Guys. Thanks, Melissa. Of course. You just want one of those guys? Just one, yeah. yeah. Okay. Look at these cool blow-up yeah. fish okay. here. Cool. There's Terry. Oh, look at these. We have, now these are all freshwater, I think, right? These are salt. These are salt as well. Because we were upstairs, they were all salt up there. Correct. So some of these are salt. Yeah, just this display tank right here, down here, and this tank right here. And that one right there? That's salt. The rest are freshwater. Okay, so these are the salt water tanks, the two down here, and the rest are all fresh. So the snail tank we're looking at is, is fresh water. All right, uh, Allison's gonna have to name this guy. This is bringing him home. Okay, here is snail in his new home with oxygenated agua water, oxygenated water, yeah. All right, so uh, that was the Austin Aquadome. So just remember you're in Austin area, go to the Austin Aquadome. It's a good place to go. And one more visit, I want to show you is the, it's called Demossi's. Demossi's Mediterranean restaurant. It's a buffet. And so I believe that Mediterranean food has kind of a sea salt energy, a Mediterranean sea salt energy. Most of the cuisine is, comes from that region. So it seems to be very healthy. A lot of the medical community, they're, they're endorsing the, um, Mediterranean food, you know, that the Greek food, Italian food, some Middle Eastern food. So we're going to head over there now. All right. So once again, for everybody who is watching, feel free to send us any questions, prayer requests, 
Uh, as you know, I'm a member of the clergy, Reverend Doctor. One day you might see me in a collar. <laughs> If you actually see me live, right? I haven't worn my collar or clerical uniform here. Uh, and uh, send prayer requests or UN. I'm also a UN Method certified mastery pr uh, practitioner. Send any UN Method requests or questions to D R L I U A L O H A L I U at gmail.com. All right? Uh, please be patient. Um, this is, uh, we don't, I mean, we don't, this is a non-profit thing, so um, it's all, we operate completely just on voluntary donations. We don't request any money or anything like that. So feel free to uh, send in any questions or whatever, okay? Uh, and also any consulting clients from around the world over the last two, three decades, uh, feel free to connect that way as well. All right, let's see if we can make it to Damasi's. Ooh. We're now at Demasi's Mediterranean Cafe. Lamb shank. Actually, it's every day now. They cater, and it's called Demasi's. Top names, tops in Texas. Oh, yeah. Joel Osteen. <laughs> All right. Here we are, Demasi. Hey, Hala. How are you? Hey, how are Good you? to see you. Okay, look at this spread, man. This is awesome. Check this out. You have hummus, baba kadun, and this is good stuff. This is my happy place. This is my happy place. This is my happy place. This is awesome. You have euro meat. There's so much good stuff here. All right, guys. So thanks for joining us. Canada Travels Texas for the sea salt uh, tactic, Austin Aquadome, and Damasi's Mediterranean restaurant. All right, so this is the end of this sea salt tactic. Canada Travels Texas, sea salt tactic, uh, Austin Aquadome, uh, and Damasi's Greek Mediterranean food. So let me show you what I pulled from at the buffet. This is, I was saying this is my happy place, right? And another lady heard me say that when I was on the, on the buffet, so. This is what I got here, and Allison's already starting eating. But this is, I got two lamb shanks. These are so delicious, the meat just falls off the bone. I have here, this is vegetable curry soup. Oh, sorry, vegetable curry soup, this one. And that is uh, lentil soup. I have spinach with feta, Damasi's eggplant, delicious. A piece of roast beef. Tilapia fish, delicious cauliflower, roast chicken, oh, grilled chicken, gyro meat, which is, has lamb in it, and this is dolma, or I used to call them dolmades, it's Greek, dolma, beets, the secret of, of immortality, as I say. Uh, I like this mince, I think it's mint sauce, I have no idea why I like this mint, mint sauce. Okay, so you know what these are, baba bagung and avocado hummus. Baba Say it again. Baba ah, baba ganoush. She's saying she's good. All right, Greek salad, uh, and the various salads here are so good. The Mediterranean area, and I got myself two glasses of mango peach unsweetened tea. So because it's summer and it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit out there today. Okay, our house air conditioned is at 85, between 85 to 90. So that it's not that drastic of a change, it's actually better for you. So here, because it's summer, in nature, we will have, I, I eat sweets. I know Dr. Jason Fung might say fructose is bad, but I think in the summer, I think you can, you're okay if I'm eating one meal a day. So I have,